Hey guys, so today I want to take a look at the new concept here for a edge-to-edge -edge iPhone 6. So um, of course now we have the new iPhones for this year, iPhone 5s and the iPhone 5c, but they didn't bring a bigger display. But as you can see here on this concept, it will bring, or on this concept, it has a bigger display. And we've also been seeing some articles about this that next year uh, it seems that Apple will make a bigger display and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they do because they seem to be doing that every two years or so bumping up the display maybe to 4.5 inch 4.3 inch display uh, 4.8 inch even that that would be kind of nice uh, because I mean as with the iPhone 4 and the 4s they had the same kind of display size and then the iPhone 5 came along and had a little bit bigger display and the same goes there with the iPhone 5s and I think that Apple also knows that people are buying phones with bigger displays and that they do like it but Apple they they know that they they can uh, they can do things slow and and still people will buy stuff so um, this concept also has like a aluminum body and looks very very thin here uh, which I don't think that the uh, next generation iPhone is going to be this big or be this thin because it looks just extreme. It doesn't even look like this phone has a home button and now with the new uh, iPhone, the new iPhone 5S that has like a fingerprint reader that they're calling touch ID sensor that you will be able to make payments uh, used by having your phone uh, on the home button and it will just read it and scan it. I definitely do believe it will still, I mean, Apple will continue to use like the home button because why would they only have touch ID sensor in one of their iPhones and then just stop having it. I definitely also do believe that payments, uh, that, that more people will do payments because it just will be easier. Many times you try to do a payment and you need your password and still this will be a, sort of like a password, of course it's your hand but it will be an easier way to make payments into iTunes and I think that it will work in the App Store but I can't tell for sure because I haven't got my hands on, on the device and I haven't watched the uh, keynote at the moment so I, I can't really tell but I definitely do believe that maybe might maybe even increase the sales of 10% or 10, 20, 30% of iTunes sales fees because it, it will be easier to make payments so if they do see that kind of like increase of course they still want to keep it easy and, and keep uh, people to be able to do payments uh, with their with a, like a sensor of course they will be able to have a sensor at another area or something of course but that feels a little bit more longer in the future I still think they will see the home button and um, I don't even know if Apple would do bigger than 4.3 inch display next time they up update 4.5 would maybe very likely it feels that that would be a good step because Apple have been going from 3.5 and then they went to 4 uh, and then of course with the big display they might want to increase the uh, the resolution on the display and hopefully also that would make so they can stop in a way better battery better life uh, because the iPhone will be bigger but then of course they don't want to compromise uh, the thickness too much of the device and Apple doesn't really seem to have been doing that much uh, in terms of battery life. Uh, this is something that I definitely want to see more in the future because they try to do smaller batteries so you will get a, a nicer experience but a longer battery life I mean that's what everyone want to have so I'm not sure about the future in battery technology but it would be amazing if they come up with a new technology so they can make very very thin batteries right now batteries are pretty big so that kind of sucks but a quick little look here at this concept may not be the best concept but uh, still fun yeah have a good day